Our clear and convincing messaging with easy follow-up action are key to an effective campaign. Well, that's the advice communications experts have for young people who are eager to use social media to advocate for their causes. In today's SG Pulse, Sherry Locke finds out how some youths used these tips to raise awareness on the effects of climate change. <music> What could be a typical afternoon in the near future if we lose the battle for the Earth? <laughs> or so we're warned by this group of Tomasic Polytechnic students. Their videos put an apocalyptic spin on everyday events, which leave a high carbon footprint. Here, a private car hire receipt turns into a tally of carbon emissions, complete with an ominous countdown and a grim warning. The previous approach is that, you know, they just give up pamphlets and say, oh, you know, save the earth. But then everyone's like, yeah, save the earth. But they don't see the importance of like, you know, actually your world can die. Your species can go extinct. Another group took a lighter approach to persuade their peers to save energy. One, two, three, flick the switch! Yeah! Their weapon of choice, flashy lights, snappy catchphrases, and easy to remember tips. So it actually starts off first with a game show to actually get to know more about what the youth know or don't know about. Um, very simple questions on energy conservation. And we have actually invited an environmentalist to actually talk more about um, these issues, these misconceptions that they've made in the previous video. And that way, we are also able to educate also the viewers alongside with our guests. Both groups plan to use social media to spread the word. After all, it seems like the most natural way to reach a generation that's grown up online. But with everyone turning to social media, is it still an effective platform for advocacy? Or are these messages just getting lost in the crowd? Well, as one expert tells me, it's all about how clearly you can get your message across. What still matters is whether the, person who, the people who have seen the uh, online post or online uh, campaign will contribute to the change. So the call to action right, needs to be very clear as well so that online people know what to do uh, and what's expected of them, right? If they are convinced and persuaded by the cause, then uh, the next thing they'll be looking for is what can I do about it? And that's what this climate activist aims to do. I try to urge my followers to look for resources uh, on the internet that are very quick and very easy for people to take on. Say a petition someone could sign, or it could be a, uh, just a small thing where they try to use small reusables in their daily lives. I also try to emphasize that everyone has different levels of capacity at different points in time. So depending on how much capacity and time you have, you can take different levels of action. In her case, action takes the form of storytelling. As much as possible, I do try to speak from the heart. And I think that's what people are attracted to. So whether it's by lifting their brushes, cameras or voices, tomorrow's generation is doing whatever they can to shape the future they'll inherit.